I'm your host H and today we're going to talk about the much lamented demise of the aviation cocktail. What a load of f bollocks. Okay, well, the aviation cocktail has been getting a lot of flack recently, all right, which I find a little bit unfair. It's created by a guy called Hugo Enslin, and it's from his books, book called How to Mix Drinks 1916. Now, a little unfair, I really do. I mean, I understand that basically it is a gin sour, which has basically been uh, sweetened with something called maraschino, but he's also added something a little unique. He, he added some alpine uh, liqueur called violette, um, which adds a lot more of a floral flavor to it. Also creates the color, because supposedly it's meant to look like flying uh, in a plane. I and mean, this, bearing in mind, this is in 1916, so pretty much only rich people could do it and going up in a plane, you know, and all blue and all lovely and, you know, yeah, whatever. But also, Hugo Enslin is a little bit of uh, an underrated bartender. I, I really do. His peers, okay, here's about his peers. All right, so you have Jerry Thomas, who published a book in 1862, the first ever cocktail book. Um, and he was basically the original rock star bartender. He was incredibly flamboyant and just out there and stupidly famous. All right. Then in 1888, you have a guy called Harry Johnson who wrote The Bartender's Guide, and he was so anally retentive he could literally eat charcoal and diamonds. Okay. But then you also have people like William, the only William Schmidt, who, whose books are, his book I really rather like, it's called The Flowing Bowl, but he was such a misogynistic prick, he actually tried to get women banned from working in the bars. All right. Hugo Anston was a bartender at a hotel bar in uh, New York. All right, and he came up with this drink. Now, this is where there's a little bit of a curveball because in 1930, in his seminal work, the Savoy Cocktail Book, uh, a guy called Harry Craddock, who was the head bartender and bar manager at the Savoy Hotel, basically removed this from it. So if you're in England, you can have what's called the aviation number one, which is maraschino, gin, and lemon or the number two where you add violet. Or it's without violet. Or with violet. Without, with, what, with, what, what, it's like, what the mother f In this case, Mr. Harry Craddock, really? Possibility is that one, he just didn't like it, or two, it just wasn't easily available. And it really wasn't easily available up and only really until about 10, 15 years ago. And then literally everybody started putting the aviation on every single drink. Okay, so now we're gonna make it how I like to make it. All right. Yes, I know a lot of people are gonna be angry with how I make it and be like, oh, you put too much of this, too much of that, oh, you all, whatever. This is how I make it and it seems to make people happy. So, two ounces of gin. Uh, I'm using the beef eater gin. I use uh, beef eater because I love more of the orangey citrusy flavors and I think they work really well with maraschino and the violette. Then just a quarter ounce or less of the violette. Okay so like in some cases maybe just a bar spoon is up to you. Just a quarter ounce, not too much. All right and then half an ounce of maraschino. Okay Let's pour that in. Then I do three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. If you want this uh, more sour, obviously add more lemon if you wish, or if you want it more sweet, add less lemon. Okay. Okay. All right. So here we go. Oh yeah. Let's get that in there. That's enough. So there we go, maraschino, violette, beef eater, lemon juice. Now we're gonna shake it, get yourself a nice glass. All right. And then. There we go. Doo -doo. Uh, I don't find strain one. I know that uh, there's a Batesi Bad Drinks TV strainer that they made for us, which is really cool. 
do like this drainer, it's rather good. And there we go. Boom. And then, just add one cherry. Okay, get some nice cherries. Put them in a bottle. Some people like to add a little bar spoon as well. Uh, or, an orange, or even a lemon twist over the top, I don't know. I think it's just perfect like that. And there it is, Hugo Enslin's, my variation of his aviation. And you gotta remember, he was a great bartender, very underestimated. I mean, all his rock star pals were all a bunch of assholes, really. A bit like uh, rock star bartenders today. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. Oh. Mm. That's lovely. Oh, God, those wonderful flavors. Just be careful on how much you use of the violet, okay? And there we go, it's the aviation. All right, and you've got a lovely cherry at the end to eat. Now, f off and get home safe.